ओके सो सी योर क्वेश्चन इज अ 52 ईयर ओल्ड मेल वो फीमेल फीमेल सॉरी 52 ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल प्रेजेंट्स टू हर जीपी विद अ लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग हिस्ट्री ऑफ बैक एक फॉर विच विच सडनली वर्सन इन सीवियरिटी फॉर द लास्ट फ्यू डेज अर्जेंट एम स्कैन वॉज डन which shows a right paracentral disc prolapse at L4, L5 level. Okay, so the level is L4, L5. Okay, the disc impinges on the lateral recess at this level. The most likely outcome would be, see, try to understand what, what he's trying to ask you is the kind of disc prolapse. First of all, you asked me why it cannot be the cord equina syndrome. So if you're asking me why not cord equina, that means there is some, uh, you know, uh, something wrong with the concept. Let me again explain that to you what exactly the disc prolapse is and what at what level what kind of you know picture will be seen okay have a look on this image you asked me for the image and uh, uh, i am just recording in the studio right now so i just saw your message so you see disc prolapse broadly is of three types one is a central disc prolapse right second one is a paracentral disc prolapse and third one is a lateral kind of disc prolapse okay so central paracentral and lateral these are three kind of disc prolapse okay now this central one is the least commonest one central it is the least commonest central one is least commonest paracentral one most commonest most common now we need just need to understand that at what level what kind of compression picture will be seen okay now see if you see at a let's discuss considering this particular level l4 and l5 when we discuss about l4 and l5 when we discuss about level l4 and l5 you can see that this is a disc in between l4 and l5 right so l4 body l5 body and there is a disc in between l4 and l5 okay now what will happen at every region you can say that every level at every level intervertebral disc level there are two nerve roots one and two right that means there is a central structure over here which is what you call a corda equina because the spinal cord has already finished at the level of l1 lower margin of l1 this is corda equina now try to understand there are two nerve roots at every level one which exits and one which travels down so this one is what you call a traveling nerve root okay if i mark it properly this is the traveling nerve root and this is the exiting nerve root now if you realize and understand at what level which nerve root exit and which nerve root you know travels and I hope the concept is clear to you that when we talk of L4 L5 level the L4 root the L4 root is actually the exiting root when I say L4 L5 the nerve root exiting L4 and nerve root traveling will be L5 right so this is the concept basically in your question the level is L4 L5 okay that means the traveling route and the exiting route the exiting would be l4 traveling would be l5 very simple now try to understand that kind of disc prolapse central disc prolapse if it occurs if there is a central disc prolapse what will happen is central disc prolapse will cause a compression over here that means your corda equina so that's what you asked me why not corda equina it is all because the central is the least commonest kind of disc prolapse we don't see you might be seeing in your opds even at your home you know your colleagues those who are having the backache with radicular pain how many we see getting into the corda equina negligible number okay so corda equina occurs only when there is a central disc prolapse like this which is least commonest as i said if there is a paracentral disc prolapse that is next to central here if the compression occurs here which nerve root is getting compressed the traveling one so when i say l4 l5 level when i talk of l4 l5 level which one is a traveling route traveling is l5 right when they say the exiting nerve root is getting compressed so exiting nerve root can only be compressed when there is a lateral kind of disc collapse when the disc goes here like that okay so lateral one you can just understand the paracentral it causes compression of the traveling route right so in the paracentral one next to the central area cord equine area the traveling route will be compressed in the lateral one the exiting route will be compressed okay exiting route is getting compressed right so when there is a l4 l5 level you should understand the most commonest nerve root which will get entrapped will be l5 right when in your exam they ask you about l3 l4 level you should know that l4 is a commonly getting commonly entrapped nerve reason being simple 
बिकॉज एट द एल थ्री एंड एल फोर वर्टिबल बॉडी इफ लेट सपोज दिस इज माई एल थ्री बॉडी एंड दैट्स एल फोर बॉडी इन बिटवीन दम द पैरा सेंट्रल डिस्कोलैप्स विल अकर इन्वॉल्विंग द एल फोर बिकॉज दैट विल बी द ट्रेवलिंग रूट सो ऑल द टाइम वेन एवर देर इज अ डिस्कोलैप्स इट इज आंसर्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू पैरा सेंट्रल वन बिकॉज दैट इज अ मोस्ट कॉमनेस टाइप सो योर आंसर आई सपोज इज डन सेंट्रल डिस्कोलैप्स नॉट बिकॉज इट इज अ लीस्ट कॉमनेस टाइप If that would have been occurring, patient definitely would have been coming to you with a cord equina syndrome, right? So when they say the level is L4, L5, most likely route to get entrapped is L5. If they say that the patient is having a compression in the lateral recess, lateral recess means the exiting area here, so L4 will be compressed. So paracentral compresses L5, lateral this kind of disc prolapse will uh, compress the L4, central disc prolapse will cause a cord equina syndrome. right i hope it is clear to you now